Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day and today what we're gonna do is we're gonna hunt some Funko Pops at the Antique Strip Mall. So this is kind of like a flea market kind of place. And if you're a fan of mall rats like I am, you can call this place the Dirt Mall. So my mom actually found this place and what I'm expecting is that we're gonna go there and we're gonna find a booth here and there that might have like between one and four Funko Pops. I'm still thrilled about looking for Funko Pops, so let's check this out. So if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. So we are inside, and I didn't bother recording the outside of the building, because it was just a really long gray building with no signs. But right inside, the very first section is a blacklight section, which I'm noticing a bunch of blacklight figures that I haven't seen before, like Chucky and Bride of Chucky. This is crazy. I love blacklight pops. Wow, so I was not expecting Vikings the TV show as Funko Pops. We got Rolo, we got Lagratha, and we have Ragnar. This is really cool. We found a Diamond Edition Hot Topic exclusive Mulan. And right next to it, a flocked Amazon special of Tigger. So I'm excited. This is my first Adventure Time Funko Pop I found out in the wild. Princess Bubblegum. This is one set that I would like to collect, but they are super expensive, I've realized. And we did find Yondu, limited edition Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And we have L with Cake from Death Note. We have regular L and regular Light. These are sweet. So here we go, we found our first Hunter Hunter Chase, it's the Chase Kiloa, Glow in the Dark, I really want this one. Right next to it, we have the Bo Katan Chase, as well as the Peggy Bundy Chase from Married with Children. These are so cool, Diamond Edition Jolteon, that one's got a special sticker to it. Oh, I'd like that for our evolutions. So I found a Blacklight case that has Carnage. This guy would be a grail to me. And we have Eddie Brock, both blacklight figures, sweet. And I'm not really a Bleach fan, but I am a Hollow Ichigo fan. And here we go, it's the Chase exclusive, right next to the Okura with a special tag. I love both of these. A Diamond Edition Eevee, very, very nice. This one is probably really expensive. So we found the white cherry version of the Slurpee. This is the only one that was missing from the 7-Eleven recording. And we have Bud Bundy here from Married with Children. Oh, this is so funny. And look at who I found. I found him. Where's Waldo? So let's check out this section here. It's all of the office pops and they're all shown by the spine, but I'm seeing a Daryl and a Dwight, more Dwight, even more Dwight. We got Michael, Stanley, we have Dwight again, and there's the Waldo I showed you guys. We got Michael Scarn, Andy, Kelly, we have the Christmas, Phyllis, we have Moe's, that's pretty cool, Angela, Michael Scott with the long hair, wow, they have a bunch. Aaron, Jim Halper when he dressed up as Dwight. These are so cool. We got Emperor Palpatine Dwight. <laughs> Regular Phyllis. We have Dwight with the pumpkin head. They have a crazy amount of the office Funko Pops here. These are so cool. Oh, and here for all of the Karate Kid fans, we got Johnny Lawrence. And it looks like it's right after he got kicked by Daniel. Ooh, a Funko Store exclusive Blacklight Alice in Wonderland. Nice. Ah, here we go. Diamond Edition Hot Topic Exclusive Hisoka. This one has been evading our collection. And wow, we found an Aloka Hot Topic Exclusive and the sticker is pretty straight on this one, nice. So this is pretty crazy. The same booth has another Chase Kilua. And we also have a Special Edition Naruto Six Path, but I don't like the sticker very much. The top row here has some Pokemon. We already have the Bulbasaur. There's a Charizard, Charmander. We got Mew. We got Pidgey. Got some Pikachus. We have Mr. Mime. That's pretty cool. Ooh, I don't really care for the figure inside this box, but I would really love a Funko Pop Ninja Turtles shirt. Oh, and I'm actually watching this show with my daughter right now. It's Cobra Kai. So this is the Johnny Lawrence from Cobra Kai and they also have the Daniel LaRusso from the show as well. This is cool. 
So we found another Adventure Time. We found LSP, Lumpy Space Princess. This is kind of funny. And a Metalhead. It is a Target exclusive. This is from the cartoon show of Ninja Turtles, actually. And here we go for all of our Minecraft fans. We have the Creeper as a Funko Pop. And a third Kilua chase. This is crazy. It's right next to a Kilua with yo-yos and a common kite. We're in a new booth and we found a flocked Charmander, but the price on this is probably through the roof and it's got an angry Pikachu next to it. And we have a mystery box of a flocked Squirtle and a flocked Pikachu. I might ask how much this one is. So I found a small Nightmare Before Christmas section and here we go. It's a Diamond Hot Topic exclusive Oogie Boogie. And we also have, wow, it's a Diamond Edition Dapper Sally. She looks pretty. And here is the Venom Funko Pop that is not Blacklight, but it's the same exact mold. Right above it, we have Carnage that looks pretty sweet too. I like these a lot. And right next to it, we have Gizmo from Gremlins, as well as we have Stripe from Gremlins as well. And they both have the 3D glasses. It's cool. Nice, we found the Chase Red Hulk. It is a Hot Topic exclusive, as well as the Chase Hades from Hot Topic. Nice. Oh, and the Wasp Chase without the helmet on. I've been looking for this one everywhere. And a Diamond Edition Box Lunch Cinderella, and she's wearing the other dress. Even better, we found a flocked version of Gizmo with the 3D glasses. Very cool. And an upside down Will and the Funko Pop from Stranger Things is actually upside down. This is cool. We got the Chase Eleven with Egos. She's got the blonde wig on. We have Dart. And we have Hopper Chase as well. Nice. So this isn't Funko Pop related, but it is a replica of the Necronomicon from the Evil Dead. Nice. We have a Funko Store exclusive Glow in the Dark Infinite Deku. Very cool. And a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan GameStop exclusive. I don't know if this is the one that is really, really expensive, though. You guys tell me. Mind blown. We found the Chase Aloka in the wild. Very nice. A Diamond Edition Bulbasaur at a different booth, but I'm probably not going to get this one. I have the pearlescent one. And this guy also has a Chase Kilua. That is just crazy how many there are at this dirt mall. Too funny, Christina and I just got done watching Blade, so here you go, a Blade Funko Pop. And it's my boy, Asuma, again. I keep picking this one up and recording it and putting it back. Very cool, we have a Diamond Edition Eevee here as well as a Diamond Edition Pikachu. Very cool, we have a Kilua with Yo-Yo. It is a Box Lunch exclusive as well as a Hot Topic Aluka. And one of my favorite Vegetas, it's Majin Vegeta. I'm gonna check and see how much this guy is. So we're back from the antique mall, the dirt mall that we went to, and my mind is absolutely blown. I was not expecting that many Funko Pops to be available there. So as you can see, Blackheart has joined us for the second part of the video. Hey. Also, in front of us, you see the spines of the two Funko Pops that we ended up buying there. And as you can see, they are identical. So the spines are identical, but we ended up buying two different figures. What I ended up getting was the common version of Aluka from Hunter x Hunter. And I found the Chase variant of Nanika. So let's check out the common version, then we can check out the chase, and then we'll have them both side by side. So first off is the common Aluka. This is such a precious figure. I love this figure a lot. I do too. I love the detail. Um, it just reminds me of that scene where she's like, give me your fingernails. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> the morbid scene where she points and she says, you, give me the nail of your pinky. I love that. I can't believe I'm holding my grail. Um, so I, I'm i big fangirl for Kilua, and I love his relationship that he has with his sister, um, Aluka, and I was just shook that we were able to find Nanika um, in the wild. I, I mean, just how pale her face is, and that eerie smile. 
It is. That sense of impending doom on her ghost face is just awesome. It is. That's Nanika. And this is the same mold as the common version, except they changed the face to Nanika, the otherworldly version of Aluka. Look at her eyes. They're they're sunken in. Yep. Oh, wow, you're right. Look at that. They're not coming out. They're actually sunken in. They're sunken in. These are coming out. She has eyelashes on this one. This one, you see her nose. This one, you just see that creepy smile. The creepy smile. I love it. And look how pale she is. Yep. She's like lavender. Yeah, you're right. It is a very light shade of lavender, like a gray. It is. Yes. Very spooky. Yeah, I completely agree that when you have the chase and the common side by side, it raises the quality of both of the figures, not just the chase. No, I totally agree. So, wow, even though we didn't buy that many Funko Pops, we have our first grail. And this is the hardest one to get, in my opinion, for the Hunter Hunter series that we're collecting all of them from. We're not done. No, I mean, we, we're not done. We, the Hunter we, Hunter <laughs> set still has a couple. We're still missing. What are which ones are we still missing? We're still missing. Crollo. Crollo. We're still missing Illumi. And Hisoka. And oh, Ahsoka. We ended up not <laughs> getting the Diamond Ahsoka because I'm anal retentive and those stickers were not straight enough for I mean, me. As am I. Yeah. <laughs> So if you enjoy content like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when the next episode lands. Also, if you could, smash like to help this channel grow. And again, thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next episode.